What's up guys, it's Brent with Likens Motorsports. I just got home not too long ago, got everything unloaded, got everything cleaned off. Um, had a good day at the dyno. So it's always a scramble and it's always extremely busy when when I take two engines down. Um, it's, just, it's just a lot of work. So um, I had full intentions of swapping intakes and doing different things, but um, I didn't even uh, bother swapping the intake. Um, I know that when I put this one on, I had to whack the flanges pretty good because the heads have been cut and everything, and the ports did not line up. So I knew that the Victor Jr. would would not line up. Um, if this would have been a situation where I would have just taken one down, uh, the shop that I go to, the dyno, is also a machine shop. They were busy, and I just didn't want to, um, you know, ask them to drop what they were doing and cut an intake for me and, and all that stuff. And by the time that uh, I got around to dyno on this one, uh, it was after lunchtime, and we were just uh, we were just pooped. So the dyno was, uh, if you remember, it's been dismantled for probably the last four or five months. And um, there were still some things that had to be set up even when I took Junior here because it's a dry sump motor. And the tank was not on the dyno and some oil lines were not on there. So we had to do some dyno work too. And it, it was just a long day. And I wasn't uh, in the mood to swap in tank manifolds. Um, so everything went really well. Um, Engines performed very well, in my opinion. Um, this guy right here made uh, about 470 horsepower. So I think it was like 469, 470 on the sheet. I will show you the sheet here in a second. This dude, so if you remember, the last time that we dyno this, they were factory GT40P heads, hadn't been touched. Uh, the factory 1.6 rocker arms. So Joe Crane ported the heads. Uh, we switched to some little bit bigger valves and smaller valve stems, converted over to rocker arm studs and guide plates, and then threw a set of Crower 1.7 roller rockers on. That engine made 350 horsepower, 350 pound-feet of torque, with a Holly 650 and a two inch super sucker at 34 degrees timing. Um, got the heads on, so if you wanna go back through all the videos, you can see me assemble the heads, you can see me put them on, you can see me do all that stuff. I left everything the same except port work and rocker arm ratio. Exactly the same as last time. This little dude made 402 horsepower um, picked up 52 horsepower with port work. The torque went from 350 pound-feet to 385 pound-feet. Dude, that's, that's a screaming little package for a stock 100,000 mile bottom end and just a cam and some head work and an intake. I, I'm, I'm very proud of this little guy and um, I wish I had time and, and money that for him to keep on living here. Um, I've got another dyno mule that I would like to play with. This one has already been sold, deposits been made. So next week, um, it should be leaving for its new home and it's been a good, good little motor. Um, Mr. Ron's 363 also did very well. Um, so the goal here was a somewhat factory appearing engine, cast iron heads, and, and everything like that for his Mustang. So that's what we went with. Those are ported Iron Eagle cylinder heads and Victor, I'm sorry, Performer RPM air gap intake manifold. So um, hydraulic roller, just a sweet little engine. I didn't have any trouble with it whatsoever. Um, I did have one freeze plug 
that um, that leaked. So I knocked that one out, put a resealed it, and uh, didn't have any problems after that. But um, just a sweet little motor. Um, idles well. The oil filter was spotless, and um, 470 horsepower is is enough to to get you in some bad trouble. So 1.3 horsepower per cubic inch from from a small block Ford, not bad. Uh, that one will also be leaving for California next week. So I'm gonna show you some dyno sheets. And then um, I got some, the curves I printed out, the actual data with the oil pressure and everything on it. Um, I, I snapped a screenshot with my phone. so. They're not too clear, but uh, I do have data, and um, I'll show you all that, and then we'll get to who won the Guess the Horsepower game. All right, so here's the 363, 468 uh, horsepower, 5,750 RPM. Um, subsequent pull is another sheet. I'll show you that here in a second, but um, look at that torque curve. That is flat as an ironing board and a nice broad RPM uh, horsepower. Sorry, I didn't mean to say RPM. A nice broad horsepower curve as well. So I'm 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 proud of this little dude, and uh, it'll it'll do Mr. Ron very well. Here's Junior. Again, a different uh, sheet. I'll show you the other sheet here in a second. Um, the other pool that I have data on, 385 pound-feet of torque. So we picked up 52 horsepower and 35 pound-feet of torque. So you all can uh, pat Mr. Mr. Crane on the back. Again, for a little tiny motor, it's not a bad torque curve. It's not like um, it's not <laughs> it's not like this dude which is flat. Look at all the area under there. That that right there makes for a great street car, okay? Um, it's got power anywhere that you want it. This one's a little peaky, but it's also 60 cubic inches smaller. This is what displacement does for you. All right, so I'm gonna show you the, the data off of the, off the screen, and then we'll go over the winners. All right, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm Really sorry if you can't. I just screenshotted it with my phone, and um, I, I understand if it's if it's hard to to read right now. Um, if you can read it, uh, I'm just going to start from the left and go over like I normally do. This is um, Mr. Ron's 363. Um, first thing I always look at is the oil temperature, and on this particular engine, uh, we lost about a tenth of a degree uh, on oil temp throughout the pool. So that's a good oil pan and oil system and bearing clearances that'll do that for you. Water temperature is about 180 degrees. Um, so I think that Mr. Ron was a little disappointed that it didn't crack the 500 horsepower mark. But I also had to remind him that we are dynoing this engine with the full front end dress, it's turning the water pump, it's turning the alternator, and I have all the temperatures uh, where they would be in a an actual scenario where the engine is in the car. So 180 degree water temp, you know, the oil temperature is not um, out of out of bounds for for this type of uh, application. And you know this is as real of um, a test as as it would be. So um, you know if we ditched the water pump and the alternator, and if we got the oil really hot and the water really cold, you know there's probably a good chance you'd hit your 500 horsepower mark. And and we do that for race engines, but I generally don't like to do that for street engines. So this is a strong engine, and like I told. Ron over the phone it's enough to get you killed <laughs> and get you killed quick so 
um, good engine. Uh, air fuel ratio, so this screen does not show what we were reading. We were reading it from another screen. And then back that up with some uh, spark plug readings. Uh, 455 pound-feet of torque and pretty much 470 horsepower so very strong piece all right and here I tried to crop it with my phone and zoom in a little bit but there's the 469 so that I have proof to show you guys when we do the guess the horsepower game results here okay and then we switch to JJ jr. again uh, oil temperature um, went up just a couple degrees which is fine we don't want to see any big spikes and we made quite a few pulls with this engine and we kept getting repeatable results so everything was good there water temperature again about 180 degrees oil pressure was good oh on Mr. Ron's uh, engine oil pressure kept going up throughout the pull good especially with a hydraulic roller engine um, 385 pound-feet of torque and 402 horsepower and I'll show you the the cropped close-up of, of that right now all right so let's go over the winners for the game and again each one of uh, the winners here uh, gets a hundred dollars store credit for uh, anything that you want and um, all you have to do I'm getting ready to show who the winners are and all you need to do is send me an email and screenshot um, and prove that you are a subscriber and um, then then I'll uh, send you an email stating that uh, you you have the hundred bucks credit so let's scroll down through here uh, let's do the let's do mr. Ron's 363 first so it made 469 horsepower there were a, a lot of good guesses um, but the closest was uh, Taylor person 8086 down here at the middle of the screen he guessed 463 so he was just six horsepower off uh, Taylor you get hundred smackaroos and on um, the 302 that made 402 horsepower the closest without going over was let me scroll down here uh, this one right here by the big W William um, I can't I'm sorry William I can't pronounce <laughs> the rest of that I don't know if it's your name or if it's a uh, just a screen name or whatever, but you got the closest and you did very well. You got within four horsepower So you two guys Shoot me an email and we'll see what's going on um, So I can imagine you guys want to hear these engines run. So let's listen to them run If you had a keen eye during uh, that first video there, uh, you would have seen a couple drops of water. The water pump has two nipples on it. One goes to the bypass hose and the other uh, doesn't go anywhere. So we just put a, a cap on it with a little hose clamp and the hose clamp was loose. So no big
All right, guys, that is it for uh, this video. I appreciate you all uh, participating in the game. All the comments were awesome. And uh, get these two engines out the door next week. We got uh, I got to get some freight quotes and uh, get some crates built. But uh, these two get to leave leave the home next week and go to their new homes. Um, thanks for participating. Thanks for watching. If you haven't. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Please do that. Uh, ring that bell for me if you approve of the content. And um, we'll have more good Ford stuff coming for you. Um, hopefully we'll get some back into some engine building videos. And of course, uh, Mr. OJ is going to get whooped on in a couple weeks. And you don't want to miss that. Uh, don't forget about our Patreon. So if you want to uh, support the channel and support... Uh, the dino mules and everything that we have going on you can be a patreon member um, by all means you're welcome to join and not donate anything but um, the the guys that uh, that donate uh, get a few extra perks so uh, look into doing that hope you guys are having a good week i will catch you next time